Let's bring in somebody who's got a much better understanding of the inside track and has a plan to get to a better place. Democratic strategist James Carville published a piece in The Times today called Biden Won't Win, Democrats Need a Plan, Here's One. James, thank you very much. Uh, first, do I remember correctly you saying uh, like a month or so ago, hey, he's earned a second term. I'm OK with Biden. Have you had a change? And if so, why? Well, I said over 18 months ago, I didn't think he should run for re-election. But if he did run and he was against Trump, I would be for him. I, I think I've been staggeringly consistent in all of this. And if he if it were, and he he's not. But if he were the nominee, of course, against Trump, I would be for him. I mean, that's but but it's not going to happen. It's just you know, it's not an insider game, Chris. Fifty million people saw that so-called debate. I mean, it, it's it's everybody knows what's going on here. It's, we've all been through it. We've seen our parents go through it, our grandparents, our aunts and uncles and neighbors and relatives. This is. This is all a matter of time here. And the question is, how do we move forward in the, sh the short time frame that we have here? That's the only thing I'm interested in. But you know what people are saying to you. They're saying to you what I hear. No, 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 no. James, anything is better than Trump. I'll take a Biden on life support. Uh, we can't, we can't, you can't mess with it now. There's not enough time and we don't have anybody we know can beat Trump except Biden. Oh, that's, that, first of all, that there, there's seven people in the Democratic Party who would have a substantial, the better chance to beat Trump than President Biden. That's just demonstratively, I'm sorry, it's just not true. And, we, and once we start fearing the future, then we're dead as a political party. It, it, you, you can't operate on fear. You know, Franklin Roosevelt said a dealer, the leader needs to be a dealer in hope. Bill Clinton said a man from hope. Obama had a post of hope. Uh, Jesse Jackson, keep hope alive. Martin Luther King, I have a dream. When you stop hope and you stop dreaming, you stop in your tracks. And everybody. So how do you get him out? He how do you is get going him out to, if he's saying I won't drop. You know, he does. He's going to come to the conclusion that this is just not a good idea. And he's going to resist it. And he's going to listen to his family. He's already going, it's all the same. We blame the staff. Then we blame the media. Then it's the elites in a Democratic Party. Hi, do I look elite? What the hell's elite about growing up in rural South Louisiana and going to LSU? And this is all across the country. And I understand it's all predictable. And he's got to, go through this and he'll get there sooner as opposed to later. Sooner opposed to later. Where's your confidence come from? I, you know, Chris, I can't, I don't predict things. I'm just telling you it's inevitable. He will come to the conclusion. People will get the message to him. He will understand. His family will understand. They'll prey on it and they'll make the right decision. I, I, I don't have any doubt about it, but while we dilly dallying around here, somebody's got to think of where we go from here. And that's what I'm trying to listen, say in the time. Listen, I think you're right. I think your party went down the wrong road and they went a long way down it. And now they got to figure out a new course. Do you think yeah. do you think Clinton and Obama would agree with your idea in The New York Times today for them to I, I, I uh, have drive no a town hall, I have no uh, idea. a series of town be, halls? You know, better to ask forgiveness and permission. I just throw an idea out there. All right, it's not, didn't everybody need? I'm just trying to stimulate what we're doing right now, to have a conversation about the future, and a future without a criminal president and right. a criminal Supreme Court. We have a criminal Supreme Court now. We had a criminal president. We might have one back. I want to stop that. If the best um, I can. Just, just for the people at home, James wrote a piece today. You can read it in the Times where he says Obama and Clinton hold a series of town halls and they pick who gets to participate and vet the ideas in the different regions of the country so that by the time you're into the convention, everybody's seen everybody and you can have uh, a good vetting process and come out with a new ticket. If you had to pick a ticket today, James Carville, who is it? 
It's not up to me to pick a ticket. It's up for the Democratic ah. delegates. I'm, I'm, I'm being frank here. I, 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 but, but that's not the question. The question is, we're up against the wall. The Democratic Party is the United States of America is up against the wall. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of NewsNation's fact-driven coverage.